Hello, in front of me I have Polar Ignite and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on the watch. Before we start, your watch needs to be paired with a phone via the Polar Flow application. Once the devices are paired, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the notifications to work. To do it, find the Polar Flow application on your phone, on your screen, basically in the app menu or on the home screen. Press the and hold on this icon. This should bring this menu. Tap on the app info to open this menu. In this menu, tap on permissions. And here we need to allow a couple of permissions. We need to allow the call logs permission, phone call permission and contacts permission. Let's tap on one, tap on allow, go back. And it should jump to the allowed category. Let's do it for the rest. Like this. Make sure that the call logs, contacts and phone uh, permissions are allowed. And once you're done, you can close this page and now open the settings on your phone. So let's open the settings on our phone and settings. Tap on the option called apps and notifications. Here, tap on advanced, scroll down, tap on special app access. Now find the option called notification access, tap on it. And here find the Polar Flow, Flow application on the list. And by default, it will say not allowed, like for example, for me fitness, but as you can see on my on my phone, it says allowed. If it says not allowed, tap on this, select the Polar Flow, then uh, let me turn it off, then tap on the switch and tap on allow to enable it. And once the switch is enabled, you can go back or close the settings entirely. And now we can open the Polar Flow application on our phone. In the app, we can tap on menu or menu icon rather, to open the menu, then scroll down, tap on devices, and you should see the device page for your Polar Ignite. If you have one then more watches uh, paired to your phone, you can swipe left and right to change the device pages for different devices. Once you're on the device page, scroll down, find the option called phone notifications, and as you can see, it's turned off by default. So let's turn it on by tapping on on. If you don't have required permission enabled, uh, or rather allowed for the application, you might get some pop-ups to allow permissions, but we allowed them before, so we don't need to do it. It's already enabled. So once the notifications are turned on in the application, we need to pair, or rather not pair, sync our watch with our phone. To do it, simply press and hold the side button for a couple of seconds until you see this on the screen, connecting to phone. Let's wait until the watch is done syncing with our phone. As you can see, it's synchronizing now. And once it's done syncing, we can uh, now we should be able to receive the notifications on our phone or rather on our watch. So let's uh, I'm going to send myself a message on Discord just to check it. So I'm going to write something like uh, hello, maybe like this. Send it. I got the message on the phone and I also should get it on the watch. But for some reason, it didn't work, as you can see. So let's try uh, again. Let's close the app, open it again, uh, go to devices, make sure this is enabled, it is. So let's try syncing the watch again. Okay, let's close the application and let's try again. Oh, this time it worked, as you can see. Sometimes you need to uh, sync the watch a couple of times for the settings to save. But as you can see, now it's working. We can receive the notifications on our watch. So if you miss them, you can wake up the screen on your watch by pressing the side button and then swiping up on the screen like this to open the notification menu. And we can read the notification right here, mark it as red, and then close it by pressing the side button. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.